welcome back everyone to an episode of Morocco. Ooh. So guys, we're back in this awesome campaign of awesomeness where I'm just get, waiting until I have 50 militaristic points and then I'm going to instantly buy a uh, conquistador and then we're instantly going to go down and go start exploring all this stuff. And I can do formalized weight scales, which means I lose 50 admin power but gain all this cool stuff. Let's do that. Okay. So, yeah, our brave conquistador is about to go on a really good voyage. Okay, there we go. Our first conquistador and he stunk. <laughs> like, he flat out stunk. I'm going to divide up our army. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'll take this army. So, yeah. Oh, wait. That's the way he has a leader. So, let's just take this guy. So, yeah, our first conquistador. Let's see his voyage. Oh, yay! Everyone wave to him. Everyone wave to the nice conquistador as he leaves our land. And as the comet is sighted for additional security to our realm, we must now embrace ourselves to a lot of stuff. Like, one, I'm going to boost stability up as soon as possible. And two, we're going to discover the Mali here soon. I think the Mali have become a pretty good power over here, but um, if we were to honestly... Yeah, there we go. Okay, Mali, I need you guys, since you guys are pretty awesome people, and I'm pretty sure you guys will already like us enough. Yeah, give us military access. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, since you guys already like us enough, we're just going to walk through your land to go see what you guys have, and to kind of scout you guys out. We kind of need to know for future reference about how much does our, you know, land have, and how much does the people have, how much do the people speak our language, We'll need to know all of this. Wow, why that event always happens? Like, why are our colonies so terrible at what they do? Like, seriously. Like, we have no advisor slot for these guys, but I don't think we have enough money to support it right now. Yeah, we don't. So let's just keep moving down. Yeah, there we go. So, this is all the Mali. We casually explored them. They're, they're pretty nice people as far as I can see. And we destroyed that little army right there. We have found the Ivory Coast, which is kind of cool. We found a new little guy over here. And he's Animist. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that that's great. That's so cool. That's so cool. Um, I, I, okay. Uh, this is kind of a no doubt thing, but when a person is Animist, that basically means that, um, that if we get to if we get to the maximum amount of of if we tech through all of this, we get a free counter spell against all pagans. So basically what that means is that we can instantly declare war on almost anyone we want to. So um I think that's what I'm going to do is save up all my diplo tech for that to happen. Cause gosh dang, that would be awesome. Get a free Kazas Belli, get oh gosh. More land, more stuff, more anything. I'm slowly expanding down the Mali. Like, the Mali don't even know my big gigantic empire over here and how much I am a bully. <laughs> they have no clue, but yeah, I can't. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to this. 20% more out to navies. Gosh dang. Yeah, let's get this guy because I can't afford anyone else more expensive. But yeah, colonies are going to be costing us a little bit more than usual. Um, we're also going to have to wait for our men to re solidify itself okay and let's just keep walking through different land to figure out what land looks like bizarre yeah oh my goodness uh, the Mali yeah I can definitely see the Mali are definitely like regional power over here oh excuse me native assimilation yes I love that event okay but yeah the Mali are the local powers over here um, we discovered an agent that's not good and our army is just casually fighting through many many uh, unacquired land, and there's some more. Oh, we met the Benin people, Bedouin people, and they are also ooh, animist. I love animist. They're probably the best. Oh, there's another person over there. Let's go find out what they are. Ooh, oh, don't die, by the way, people. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yo. Oh, they're also animist. Oh gosh, this would be a perfect place to go invade. Okay. Let's just keep going, discover, let's just discover all of our neighbors, and I found more slaves. Still not something I'm going to applaud. I mean, seriously, it's terrible when you discover slaves. Seriously, it is. Okay, and I'm losing tons of people to this, like, event. Like, Alison Glashimi is a really terrible person when it comes to, like, exploration. 
I mean, we're losing so much, and so, yeah, there's some of Molly's army, which I expect it to be, you know, Molly-esque big, so, yeah, this is, this is where, this is where I think I'm gonna lead this campaign, is going into this region of Africa, because uh, I think I ultimately want to create an, a united African nation, or probably a bigger nation than what has ever existed in today's modern or any time in the world. And these guys are animist. Oh, okay, I really. Oh, and these guys are animist too. Oh, sweet. And there's a capital. And I think they also own this too, from what I remember from other YouTubers. So, yeah. Oh, oh, this is all juicy land. This is this is all good. This is all good. Learning all this information now. So, uh, wait. National epic. What our subjects have taken to telling tales and legends about Abu Salahim the Third of Martelin. The legend says that in Morocco's darkest hour, he will return to our nation and deliver it from evil. Regardless of the truth in the statements, we come to use this in our own propaganda, man. I don't know why I went to like hippie terms, but so Ottoman the Third is he like a ex? I, I don't quite know, but I'm... Yes. That seems like a good event. So, yes. Okay. Yes. I guess I'll go with yes. So, yeah. We have changed our culture in Tangiers. Good job. Good job for changing those stupid Fezians' minds about we about independence and we... And, you know, its own nationality, its own, like, laws. They don't need laws. Those... Filthy, filthy Fezians. Oh, and by the way, people, never take anything I say in this campaign literally. I always make these jokes and play this high upper class to show a uh, very, very, uh, you know, role player esque kind of kind of style. And this does not reflect really reflect my views in any way, shape, or form. I'm, in all honesty, one of the most respectful people there. So just so you guys know, and we've explored the entire Mali. People, so we can already start in planning our invasions. In fact, I think the first invasion I'm gonna do is like right over here. From there, I'll start assimilating even more. Oh, this is gonna be so joyous when I get to that point. And right now, I'm not gonna spend any more. Oh, got more battles. But it seems like, yeah, it seems like my explorer is honestly doing much. I'm gonna discover the Gold Coast. Wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. There we go! Huzzah! Discovered the Gold Coast. Gold Coast. And there we go. I think we've discovered enough of this land now for me to be happy. So I'm gonna go send my guy back home. Through safer lands than the ones I was actually gonna plop him through. Because that would just been terrible. And we're just gonna go relax at home. We don't really have to be out at sea anymore. Well, they're not out at sea. They're out in the lands of Africa. But in a sense, I could be considered a sea. So... Yeah, lose 10 legitimacy or lose admin points. Usually I would go with the other one, but eh, this time I want to be a little bit, like, non-usual-esque. Okay, and let's start building more men. There we go. Look at all that manpower. I mean, we're, we're really starting to build up from what we used to have. And... We're almost, we're almost about maximizing what we need for about daily things from provinces. You see, we're getting a lot of manpower per turn, which is good because before I took in power, this manpower in this country was terrible, just terrible. But now since I'm in power, it's gotten a lot better. Oh gosh, and let's see, uh, army size. We are really, 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 really packing it all all in there. Three infantry, nine cavalry. I mean, we're really going cavalry as it's, like, happy. And let's reduce inflation, make no inflation happen, and our colony is all happy, and we're almost done with our colony, which is so exciting. We're almost there, we're almost there. Come on, one more turn. Yes! Good! Okay, let's get that. Let's instantly start going there. Move our troops there. And yes, okay. We've now officially blocked out most Europeans from getting to these islands, which will make it significantly harder for them to finally get over to here. 
which is our ultimate goal, is to kind of just keep locking up all the Europeans to make sure that we can, like, you know, have all the land for ourselves. So, we're doing a good job of that. That's basically what I'm saying. And I'm not sure if our economy is strong enough to... Uh, let's see. Yeah, we could not... We, we definitely could not do dual, uh... Dual, uh... You know, colonies right now, but... Tarza lose 50... What is with this... Okay, lose... Yeah, we could lose half the population this time. Because I don't understand why I keep losing that much population for my colonies. I don't know what's happening, but it's honestly annoying. And I'm finally going to boost my stability up to 1. Because I think 1 is about where you should be in about a cruise in a battle campaign. You don't need to be at 3 or 4 unless you really, I mean 3 or 2 unless you really want to, but 1 is about good. You need to be at least in positive just in case if you have those random events like the Comet, the most awesome event ever. It should be like the best event ever because you're learning about the explorations of the stars and how a little meteorite, well not really meteorite, a little crystallized ball travels through the stars, but no, instead, I'll pay, people get panicked, and we usually have to go through, like, a, I, I don't know, like, a round of, like, oh, yeah, it's fine, everyone, don't worry. And Barbary Pirates, our naval force limit has increased. Holy shoot, our naval force limit has increased. Uh, does that mean we should go for it? Uh, let's finish up with our quest for uh, new soldiers, and then we can start the quest for new new boats, but, yeah, I, oh yeah, I completely forgot to look at all the, like, uh, well, actually I did, that's a lie, that's a lie, I did look at all the national ideas that my country has, my first look to this nation, but I wasn't really, like, in-depthly looking at it, so, yeah, we're supposed to be a really major, like, global, like, uh, navy power, which I will become, don't worry, I'm actually legitimately thinking about my navy in the back of my mind, uh, most, Unlike most campaigns where I'm just kind of like, eh, Navy, it's a good thing to have at some point in your, in your game. No, I'm legitly thinking about it because if I, could, if I could control all the land I have, I could like keep Castile, Aragon, Portugal all at bay and then eventually go in and go conquer them. Okay, and let's see, how much would it take for you guys to become my vassal? I know this is, I know this is very sudden, but how much would it take? Would you guys even accept it? Uh, let's see. Uh, off of vassalization. Hmm. Let's see. Are we even? Let me see. Let's see, view my own country. Yeah, I already have way too many diplomatic relationships as it is. Um, we could probably fix that by canceling our military access with Mali. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, Mali. We're going to cancel military access. And then over here, how are you guys doing with the whole integration process? Eh, you guys are pretty fine. But I wish you guys would be a little bit higher than that. Um, you guys basically love me though, but we're gonna have to really figure out how to increase you guys. Maybe send you guys a gift? I mean, everyone loves gifts, I assume. <laughs> okay, that, that, no. That was really kind of weird. Sorry about that. We'll do that again, and let's move all of our men downward. Am I coring this, by the way? Yes, I am. Good. We want to instant core everything, and oh, look at that. Look at that. And soon we will own all of the northern African coastline. I mean, we, we're going to own all of this, but eventually we're going to own everything. And it seems like um, the Ottomans are setting up themselves up with a big, gigantic war with each other. These two are going to go at it like crazy once the time comes. And eventually then I'm going to have to decide who I like the best, who is really my family. But right now we can just enjoy the fact that they aren't at war with each other. Just enjoy the fact that we're just kind of going to relax, kind of chip, chap, cheerio, and not really deal with them. Ah. Uh, okay, but in the meantime though, we do have to kind of think of ways to uh, increase this. So let's see, 10 diplomatic points. A uh, 25, that's fine me. Ah. Uh, I don't think I could start conversion yet. I think I need at least 90. Is that true? Annex. I can't do it until 1501, but it's so close. Oh, gosh, dang it. <laughs> we just need to, like, get 10 more. But what's really holding me back? Have Casas Belli aggressive expansion. Alright. 
So, it's either I'm going to have to wait two years for this to come off, or... Wait, wait, I got, I got the idea, I got the idea. I know this is going to work. Ah, oh, Dang it! I thought that was going to work. Well, we can try to get the maximum amount of relationships we can out of this. And just max it. Let's see how close we can get. Oh, come on, come on, come on, we just need two more points. Two more points. Come on, world, do not let me down yet. Okay. Uh, let's get this. Yes, farming mistakes. Okay, and yes, it does keep the technology growth for the next turn. Okay, that's good. I was wondering about that. Okay, so let's continue. Hmm. Speaking of which, I haven't really been building many of my uh, temples yet, which is kind of stupid because they give me a lot of good stuff. Probably should start doing that now because they really do give us a lot of good stuff. Another infidel! Man. I don't care. Everyone, you know, everyone has their own beliefs and own religion. Just, just honestly accept it and our lives become a lot easier. So, let's do that. And let's go right here, but... And there we go! You will now become our joyous vassal in 1514. Wow, they're gonna be out, they're gonna be annexing these guys for a long time. But at least we start annexing them. So that's what really counts. <laughs> Oh gosh, and they're probably our biggest vassal at this point too. All right, and let's start building some stuff. I'm finally gonna build a temple. All right, where's the highest base tax that would really help us out? Uh, let's build one in Tunis, cause that's that's already doing really awesome, and having it there would definitely increase us by a lot. Uh, look at our army. Our army's growing even bigger and better. Uh, we just have to keep increasing that. Our manpower is now really going up. Oh gosh. The speed of military tradition? We have lots of military tradition? Uh, not really. It's really kind of stinks. <laughs> We're not a very traditionalized country. Not at all. We we kind of hate tradition in a sense, I guess. That kind of stinks. Because <laughs> that would seriously help us out on a lot of things. Alright. Uh, you have advisor slots. Eh. I don't really need him. I mean, it'd be just nice to have one, but I don't necessarily need him. Native Uprising again. Of course. Of course. Alright, get some more units out. Let's pump some more units. Let's get some more, like, one more man. And get another cavalry unit. Okay. And then we'll group them up. That's 15 soldiers in total. And yeah, we're making... We're making good money. Like, good, good money. Okay, and then from there, I think, if I can, I think I'm going to try to reach Sierra Leone. Because so I think that's going to be the next crucial place. And then just keep colonizing from there. Current heir, Ottoman, dies. No! No! What? Why? What did he ever do to you? Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, this is the good guy. I wanted... <laughs> wait, what? Oh, shoot, wait, this is the good one. The one I was thinking of that could help us, like, westernize. What am I talking about? This guy's great. Like, this guy's great for government. I'm not... No, no, never mind. This isn't an oh, no moment. This is like an oh, yay moment. The king is dead. In come the king is dead. We're so happy the king is dead. In come the evil king is dead. He did a lot of wars for us and expanded our wealth from here to here. And that's enough of the king dead song. Because I, I don't I don't think anyone knows the lyrics yet. So, yeah, we're just going to stop singing it. So, yeah, let's build another one right here in our capital. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so awesome. Okay, now let's combine these two guys. Combine these two. Encountered of the Inconienda system. Especially lose five aggressiveness goods produced. That's good. Okay. So let's go right here. These guys are casually becoming part of us. Inconienda system. Good. Okay, get them onto our land. Uh good. Yeah, you guys are all don't worry, you guys are all integrating pretty quickly. Uh let's see, we have our next tech military tech. Large bronze cannons! I don't think I have to do anything for that yet because we just got it. So, that means that we should probably produce like maybe 
one or two cannons, not very many, but it's now definitely a four par that we should start thinking about them. Okay, I think I probably will get this guy right here, reinforcement speed or national modifier. I think we do need at least one of them in there, because they're honestly very important people, like really important. And oh, oh my goodness, this is going really quick. Like, wow, time is just flying by, and the music currently playing, guys, is the snow is coming. So with that kind of lovely image, I want to thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.